Well, another thing I'd like to say too is I think that we really grew up in a in a cool time gaming wise, because we got really all the consoles that really matter. I know that there's like probably old heads and purists that are really into like the Atari and all that, which I'm sure is fun and cool, but we still got to play that and stuff like remastered versions and shit. But well, even like when we went to get our haircut, they'd have yeah sixty fours and stuff. And yeah, our friends would always have. Like a 64 or something. But we had a PlayStation 1. We had a P... Yeah, PlayStation 1. We had a PlayStation 2. We had a PlayStation 2. We had an Xbox. But the PlayStation 1, we kind of... I, I was grandfathered into that. I was kind of born with that. Dad had that. dad dude. had that. Shout out to dad. Yeah. Had that Had that when we were... He had that before he had us. Yeah. And... He had um, like Madden in that racing game. He had a racing game. and then He, he had a shooting game too. A duck shooting game. 360s came out and then really changed the game landscape or changed the whole landscape with the graphics yeah and then obviously where we're at now but like being able to be at the start and the cusp of xbox live i thought was really cool that being able to play online but still my st- first gamer tag me too i'm just kidding I, I definitely oh i do do you really yeah you still have your original account yeah fuck you i just thought that was a cool thing that we could go play sports and we could still be able to, you know, f- hang out with your friends. Yeah. Gaming was a big part of our life. Actually. It's, it's interesting that you say that because there is always that argument of like kids nowadays aren't, you know, don't play or like, it was even a criticism when we were growing up, like that we don't, that yeah. we wouldn't play if we played video games and this and that, and it'll rot your brain and whatever. Well, dude, who's almost three, it, like he he obviously can work an iPad, and uh, he's got it down pretty good, and but like I had my technology down pretty good when I was three. Like whatever it was at the time, like yeah. we had screens, we had different things, but we also had like big TVs that we were watching too, right? And and that was how we got our content. And but like I know that that. Little man is no less active than he would be if there was. Well, no I'm talking iPad more in terms of. I'm talking in terms of more brain, but. Well, I know, it's but more like of a topic I, for a different day. I know, but I think it doesn't really matter, like it, whether there's an iPad or not in the equation. There's some sort of content that's being digested as a release from playtime. Because yeah. playtime is still a thing that's like wired in us, the where, well, for sure, we yeah. need to be active and play and all this. It's if and if you're not, um, you know, like a, a child is as is a perfect, pure view of the world that hasn't been fucked up by any life yet. Yeah, those Game Boy Advance with little cartridges that you had to, yeah. <laughs> And they're how about a Game Boy Color with the little light? Yeah, even the game (laughs) with the light. (laughs) It didn't have fucking backlight on the screen. Yeah, dude, you had to get that little reading light. I had that on my Game Boy Advance. Dude, think about that. My Game Boy Advance, the long one. Think about that for a second. Like we're growing up in a time where our our handheld gaming systems, you had to attach a fucking reading light in order to see it in the dark. (laughs) <laughs> but the generation even older than that's like, fuck you, dude. We didn't even have a handheld video game. Yeah. And now these kids are like, dude, we got my phone. I'm not I, even playing. I got my the phone. fucking. We got. A, I got a three. Or I got an Xbox One and a PS Five already ordered. What are you talking about? Yeah. Dude. I got my phone too. I don't need that. Got VR sets waiting <laughs> in the back. All right. Um. I think another thing that's crazy is the fact that like these. These viral dances, like viral dancing, viral dances aren't new. No. And speaking of which, uh, we just lost the the guy that made Pop Lock and Drop It. Yeah, it's very our era too. Um, he got got, but the, the like Soldier Boy dude, like crank that. That's a that was before fucking social media even really like. Imagine, yeah, it definitely was. Imagine if there was uh, TikTok when when Crank That came oh, out. Oh, dude. 
I, that would be game I'd be over. famous. It'd be game over. I was cranking that Soldier Boy hard. But like now, there's there's people who are who are still our age, like more so females that are participating in that sort of shit. Mm-hmm. But like females our age and some dudes our age are doing the TikTok dances, and they were also old enough to be doing crank that at like their seventh grade school dance. And that's kind of our our age group or, that we're uh, talking about here with the Zillennials. Or the two-step. Yeah, dude, getting jiggy with it. Dude, for, for me, for the longest time, until I got older and everyone's like, do you want to go two-step? And I'm like, like, two-step? Like, do the two-step, do the two-step. And I was like, like, <laughs> fucking UGK dance? Like, no, two-step, like, line dance. And I'm like, the fuck is that? In country. 